Ayan, okay. So, number 8 na tayo, no? Number 8, the partnership agreement allows interest on partner's average under peso man, peso day method, no? Capital balances at 12% with any remaining net income or loss uh, to be divided equally. So, yung number 8, no? Basically, no? Merong interest uh, provision, no? May interest on capital balances na pinag-usapan yung partnership, no? As to profit sharing agreement. So, bakit nga ba, no? Naglalagay sila ng um, provision for interest on partners' capital. No? Ba't kaya nilalagyan niya ng interest, no? Ang purpose kasi, no? Kaya minsan, no? Or madalas na merong interest on capital balances sa profit sharing agreement is to encourage, no? Yung mga partners na mag-invest pa ng mag-invest sa partnership. So, syempre, no? Kapag nag-i-invest si partner sa partnership, eh, lumalaki, no, yung kanyang capital. At dahil meron silang provision for interest on partner's capital, so, syempre, the more na nag invest yung partner, lumalaki yung capital niya, eh, lumalaki din, no, yung kanyang interest, no, ang, on capital. Na maaari rin, no, na magpadagdag pa ng additional um, profit, no, sa kanya. Ayan. Kaya merong allowances no for interest na pinagkakasunduan yung uh, partnership. So dito no malinaw na ang interest daw ay nakabase sa partners average capital balances under peso man peso day. Ayan. So ayan no nakasulat na yung um, peso man peso day method no average capital balances. So kinumpyut na kasi natin to no dun sa mga Uh, nakalipas na video. So, kung gusto nyo balikan, eh, consider rewatching, no? Kung paano nag-arrive sa 60 at sa 110. So, dito ko na lang siya isasolve, no? Sa mismong paper. So, I think kasha naman, eh, no? Dito na lang natin siya isasolve. So, interest, no? Ayan. Dito na lang yung number 8. Ah, dito na lang siguro, no? Ayan. Kita naman, eh, no? Ayan. Number 8, dito na lang sa ilalim. So, we have partner C and partner 2, then total, no? Yeah, total. So, interest, no? Interest. Kay C, so, ang kanyang average capital is 60, no? Times 12%. That is... Um, 7,200, no? Kay Chu naman, we have 110 times 12%. That is um, 13,200, no? So, total nito would be um, 20,400. Then, yung balance daw, Uh, to be divided equally. No? To be divided equally. So, kung ang um, net income is um, kano net income dito, no? Ang net income dito ay eto, six, um, saan ba yun? 60. Ayan, 60,000. No? 60,000 is our um, um, net income. no? So, kung ang pag ang paghahatian ay 60,000 pesos na net income, no? 20,400 doon would be para sa interest on average capital. Therefore, yung natitirang 39,600, no? Eh, yan na yung paghahatian. And the balance to be divided equally. So, 39,600 divided by 2, uh, that is... Um, 19,800, no? Ayan. Therefore, the total uh, share, no? Ang total share in net income of C is um, 27,000 pesos, no? 27,000 pesos. No? And kay Chu, no? Kay Chu, 13,200 plus 19,800, that is 
Ayan. No? 33. 33. No? 27 plus 33 equals 60,000 pesos. Ayan. So, journal entry natin dito would be debit um, income summary. No? Income summary, 60,000. No? Credit, C drawing, 27. Credit to drawing, 33. So, medyo simple lang, no? Kapag um, interest, no? And interest on capital balances. So, again, bakit nga ba naglalagay, no? Ng provision for, ano, um, interest on capital balances, no? Ayan. So, sinasama yan sa partnership agreement kasi it gives recognition to differences on capital contributions by the partners. So, ito yung binabanggit po kanila, no? So, kapag merong um, recognition of, oh, sorry, kapag merong interest on capital balances, um, ina-encourage nito, no, yung mga partner na mag-invest pa ng capital sa partnership. Ayan, lalaki, no? Lalaki yung capital ng partnership. Ayan. Interest on capital balances are not expense of the partnership. Ayan. Hindi to interest expense ha, yung nakalimitang nakikita nyo sa income statement na interest expense, no? Hindi ito 'yon ha, hindi 'yon kasama, hindi ito kasama sa interest expense. Kasi class no, yung interest expense actually no, eh pang ano yan eh no, pang liability yan eh, di ba? Ayan. pag may utang ka, magbabayad ka ng interest, no? And yung interest na yon, that is your interest expense. Ngayon, eto kasi interest on capital balances and alam niyo naman no na iba ang capital sa liability partners in the partnership are the owners of business no sila yung owner hindi sila creditor no kaya hindi yan interest expense ayan i hope no i hope class nakuha naman no yung punto bakit hindi siya expense no ng partnership Kasi yung mga partners, no, hindi naman niya nagpapautang, no? Or hindi naman niya, actually, no, yung capital nila sa partnership ay hindi naman yun utang, no? Ayan. And interest on capital balances, it must be enforced, no? Regardless of whether operations are profitable or, unpre or unprofitable. Ayan. So, meaning class, no? Kunyari, ang napagkasundoon lang ng partners is, kunyari, um, eto, katulad nito, no? May interest on capital balances. Ngayon, kung loss yung negosyo or loss yung partnership, still may enforce no yung interest on capital balances. Ayan. Ganun siya, no? Ngayon, kung napagkasunduan ng partnership or malinaw sa kasunduan ng partnership na Walang interest allowances kung net loss ang ating operations. So, that's the time, no, na hindi ma-enforce yung interest on capital balances. Kasi malinaw na nakastate sa agreement, no, na walang interest kapag tayo ay net loss. Yeah. Ganun siya, no? Mababaliwala lang or bawawala lang yung interest on capital balances kung malinaw na in state sa agreement na pag net loss, no, eh walang interest on capital. Yeah. Pero kung walang sinabi, no, no, kunyari net loss pero walang napagkasunduan, kunyari ang napagkasunduan lang lang ang napagkasunduan lang ay sa profit lang, no. walang sinabi or silent as to agreements as net loss, then we have to enforce no the interest on capital balances. Saan na tayo? Number nine. No? Ito na lang yung number nine. Kasya naman eh. No? Assume that the partnership operation results at a loss of 10,000. So ito pala may example tayo. no 10,000 pesos. The partnership agreement allows interest on partners average capital balances at 12% with any remaining net income or loss to be divided equally. Ngayon class no, lugi sila ng 10,000. So paano yung kapag may provision for interest? So we have to be or we have to enforce no, we have to enforce the interest on capital balances. 
kahit net loss, no? Kahit net loss. Ngayon, kung nilagay sa part sa partnership agreement na kapag net loss, walang interest on capital balances, no? That's the time na hindi natin gagawin or hindi natin i-enforce yung interest on capital balances. Ngayon, dahil wala namang binanggit, no? We have to be enforced. So we have C, no? Two total. Then interest, no? Actually same, no? Ito lang din naman yan eh, oh, 7,200 tapos 13,200. Ayan, no? The total is uh, 20,400. Ngayon, yung balance daw, no? To be divided equally. Ayan. Tapos class, siya ay net loss ng 10,000. So, yung balance, eh, no? We have to put a figure here na mag-a-arrive sa negative 10. So, the answer would be, no? Ang residual natin would be 30,400, no? 20.4 minus 30.4, that is negative 10. And the balance would be equal, no? So, the balance would be, ito, hati natin sa dalawa, no? That is 15,200. So, I hope, I hope class, nasusundan nyo, no? So far, yung sa ating um, interest, no? So, therefore, share in net income, actually, net loss pala, no? Share in loss of C would be, kano yun, no? Ito ay negative 8. No? Ito naman, negative 2. Ayan. <laughs> so, 8,000 tsaka 2,000 loss, no? Now, the entry here would be uh, debit, no? Debit C drawing C drawing um, 8,000 Debit Q drawing 2,000 and credit income summary kasi net loss, no? 10,000 Ayan. So, ganun lang, no? Uh, ganun lang yung sa um, interest, no? Ayan. So, I hope class uh, malinaw naman yung ating discussion ng ating um, um, interest, no? On capital balances.